this video is bait for academic purpose only otherwise take the services of a professional in this video we will learn how to write our first and the smallest possible program in c++ first of all few requirements we need to have an ascii editor vi is available under unix as well as linux it is the default uh, text editor for writing programs or scripts vim is actually nothing but vi but it is available under linux and if you want to invoke vi text editor you can type vi or vim as you like nano is available under linux gedit is also available under linux gedit is more powerful text editor uh, than uh, vi and nano because it provides some gui nice gui interface mouse integration cut copy paste etc emacs it is available under unix linux and windows and this is the most powerful text editor i have come across then comes turbo c++ in its ide integrated development environment there is a default text editor to write the c++ source programs similarly visual c++ its ide has a very powerful text editor to write the source programs then comes uh the warning do not use word processing software like ms word library office etc then comes compiler under linux operating system we have g++ default compiler to compile c++ programs It, uh, in a number of times uh, g++ is not by default installed one has to install it under linux operating system using various mechanisms Turbo C++ it is for 16 bit ms dos from microsoft corporation visual c++ is the compiler by microsoft for microsoft windows operating system now let's see what is the smallest program one thing one has to uh, remember is the extension of the file source file has to be .cpp you, you will find various extensions but i always use .cpp which is acceptable by all compilers so it means the file name may be first .cpp something like this now comes this smallest legal c++ program and it is this it is assumed that here we have written int int for integer but if you do not write the compiler assumes that we have written int then this name m a i n lower case remember c++ is case case sensitive just like c linux is also case sensitive so lower case m a i n whatever may be the size of your program or project you you can have one and exactly one main function then open, opening parenthesis closing parenthesis between these two opening and closing parenthesis uh, we can write number of things like runtime arguments which we will di uh, discuss in some other video opening brace and closing bro brace these are all essential items remember we can write all these characters in one line itself it does not matter to the compiler but as a good programmer we should write our program in such a way that it is easy to write and understand now for compiling type at the command prompt g++ name of the file and press enter key sometimes return is written that means one and same thing and this will generate an executable file name a dot out irrespective of the source file name in default linux setup to execute the program one has to type dot forward slash a dot out hit enter if you want to generate the source file uh, executable file name for your choice then write type at the command prompt this g++ space minus symbol sometimes we call it dash or minus or hyphen and lower case o small o space whatever executable file name you want you can type it here it is not essential that this name has to be 
primary name of the source file name. It is not at all essential. But as a responsible programmer, we should choose executable file name in such a way that by looking at it, we can make out what is corresponding source file name. To execute, type dot forward slash first. So let us see how do we actually write our program. Here I have written nothing. Now you can see nano and file name first.cpp. I will write int or why to write int main opening brace closing brace that, that's all. Control O, save yes, Control X, exit. Now you can see the source file name appears here. Now to compile, I will type G plus plus first dot cpp. Okay. Now you can see here this is a body. This is a body. It is not at all. Uh, uh, you can say not at all an error. It is a warning here. Okay, it is a warning with no type, no return type, for which declaration of mean with no type. Okay, here it is a warning. Okay, but if we say a dot out is there, if I type a type a dot o u t command not found, though it is available there, I have to type dot forward slash a dot o u t. It prints nothing, but it, is, it has executed. It prints nothing because we have not written anything to do so. Okay. Now, suppose I want to have exe executable file name of my choice. So, I will say G++ dash O F I R S T first I R S T dot C P P. Again, the same wording, but now we see First appears to execute F I R S T. Nothing appears, but our program is. That is all in this video. For more videos, please like, share, and subscribe the channel. Thank you.